Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys. My name is Rael Crespo, and you're watching Chris's Crespo's channel. Now, I've noticed that quite a few of you guys are having problems um, starting up this lovely little airplane, this turboprop Majestic. Well, sorry, this is not the Majestic one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Majesty one as well, but no, this is Fly J Sim, Fly J Sim Dash Q400, or Fly Sim Dash 8 Q400. Now, um, I also went crazy trying to, you know, work it out because um, they changed some sort of things since the last update on, on X Plane 11. Uh, so you will probably have problems starting up the starting up these this this airplane now i'm going to be quite brief about it and go straight to the point so we're just gonna go back to the cockpit here we are this is uh cold and dark as usual now i'm gonna just start do a couple of things here well this is the normal setup i do i took off the uh, jog etc etc now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the checklist and on the checklist i have actually indicated some little things that you will need to 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 follow in order to to switch this thing on now we're gonna start with the master switch on so all the batteries are gonna go on that's it now very important bit is that obviously the generators are not working that they got to be off both of them right you are not using them and this is a key part for this plane to actually start off now that's gonna go off main bust main bust eye is on uh the engine intake both closed although they say it's gotta be open uh, i always leave them closed because that's how it's supposed to be as far as i understand now apu we're gonna switch it switch it on so we got some power from the epu straight away right so we got the epu working now we're gonna continue going down recycle fan uh, sorry we're gonna go to this bit here now uh we got the ac control again generator one and generator two off both of them they gotta be off and then we go down and this obviously we all know that how it is blitz off minimum and recycle fan on and then we continue down another key part we got to switch this off so the air that goes off both backs are now off that should be far we go st still down leave that on obviously we're not going to do any checks or anything like that position lights are on in the meantime we're also going to do the stereo lights the beacon lights so at this stage the overhead part is already been done we can go down continue going down and we're just going to make sure now on the pedestal and the pedestal that this one uh can i touch it now hang on Ah, because it's, hang on, I have to switch on my, that's it. Right, okay. Now, that is got to be honest. Obviously, this should be a fuel off to start with. The both throttles are idle, or disc, actually. And we're going to put those two there, just right there, on the on the start, start, uh, what's it called? The start. So we cannot see from here we're just gonna move about there we go it's time to feel that very important they're gonna be there both of them just there Alrighty. so once we got those two done the plane is basically ready to be uh, switched on or the engines to start up really so we're gonna just start go straight to the point now and then you're gonna notice that this is the only way to switch on this thing so on the engine stub little model we're just gonna put both injections are normal we're gonna select engine number two and we're gonna just see magic there if i just want to there you go and that's gonna go on that's it it's going on is now moaning that the generators are now switched on okay so number two engine is being started now we're gonna start with number one 
Cao And number one is going live And number live one is basically starting up Now, do not ask me why you got to follow that procedure now I got no idea, but that's how it has to be done And if you don't do it like that, you're gonna be, gonna be just <laughs> going crazy Because that has happened to me basically I was going nuts trying to find a solution for it and fun enough I found a image where it shown you how the overhead panel should look like when you started your engine so here it is and that's basically it now we got that thing on generators switched on both of them so those two as well bleeds you can leave it like that or as you wish and the packs on and the APU can go off there we go you got the little girl ready for taxi so I hope you guys understood the procedure um, I just try to be as as simple as possible as always you've been watching crazy Christmas channel for any further videos or any further live streams do not hesitate to subscribe we normally do it in Spanish because I'm a Spanish myself but have some of them that are in English as well, so there you go. Right, so thank you very much guys and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye.